All right, we're live now. Um, so, Namaste everyone. Uh, welcome to Hindi University. Really excited to have all of you uh, this Sunday uh, at Hindi University. As you know, my name is Ashutosh and uh, we all meet every Sunday 8 a.m. U.S. Pacific time, which is time on the west coast of the U.S. to learn about the Hindi language. Uh, for those of you who are completely new to Hindi University, you can learn more about us by going to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Hindi University. And if you're interested in joining the, the live session that we have every Sunday, you can get all the details on this page, which is tiny.cc slash Hindi University. Okay. Uh, you can get all the details about how to join the, the, the Zoom classes. Uh, similarly, we have several practice sessions throughout the week, um, you know, which is organized by very enthusiastic the Hindi University the group members. Um, so you can benefit from that. Similarly, if you miss any of the previous classes, you can get all the details from here. And uh, um, and if you are interested in you know helping in any particular activity, all of those are here. Okay. Um, with that in mind, as far as the, the the language is concerned, you know we are following two main books and a blended curriculum this year. Uh, we are following um, Richard DeLacy's book, uh, which is basically uh, you know elementary Hindi. Along with that, Pingular Hindi is as well there. Um, and um, you know, even though it's, uh, you know, we, we are trying to bring everyone together, which is like even beginners as well as the intermediate plus levels. Okay. Um, what we decided for this year is like fourth Sunday or last Sunday of, you know, every uh, month we'll have the segment of uh, learning movies through, um, through uh, popular uh, Bollywood movies. Okay. Um, and uh, give me just one minute. So, so in this class, basically we decided that our theme will be the a popular movie called Shole. Okay, so I'll give you some context behind that, like why we decided to use this approach, and then after that we'll dig deeper into it. So um, throughout the class, as I said, like it's a it's a pretty interactive class. So feel free to unmute, share your thoughts, and then you know share your feedback as well. And um, as as far as you know, and then we'll approach accordingly. So give me just one minute. I'm gonna share my screen um, so that way you can um, we can we can follow to the the next module that we have. Okay, so. One minute here. Hopefully you can all see my slide deck. So this is basically, this segment is really, the theme is emergent based learning, okay? And uh, I typically follow at Hindi University a combination of multiple methods, emergent being one of them, okay? And emergent based method is basically one of the most authentic method, which is basically you're forced to to speak that language or understand that language. Okay. Uh, you experience almost all aspects of life in the language that you are learning. Uh, well, some of you have the benefit of it. If you've lived in India or if you lived, uh, you know, to, around the Hindi speaking, speaking community, you can get some sense of it or even any target language you're learning. If you're li living, living in that country, you're forced to speak, you're forced to speak, learn the, the daily aspects and what are the frequently use uh, the, the phrases, okay? Um, now, some of you may not benefit from it because you know you may not have that sort of like the, the, the facility there, okay? So another segment that you learn is like, you know, learning through popular memes, okay? Um, that's a subset of emergent based learning and it became really popular in the recent years to the point it has started being used in, the, in many universities to to engage students in language learning, okay? Um, the meme basically, they serve cultural currency, you know, they rely on cultural references, some humor to convey some points. Um, I mean, to give you an example, this is a meme which became very popular of uh, uh, Pepe the Frog. Um, you probably have seen it. Initially, it looked very weird, what is this? But uh, it was used to convey many things and you can see that uh, while you have this meme of a frog underneath that you know you know to convey that you know the this particular frog is feeling good in english it says feels good man but the same thing can be conveyed in many other languages okay and it will kind of tell you that this is what the frog is saying or doing or experiencing okay um there are many research papers written on this uh, i wrote down um a couple of the the references here which kind of the result was that they found that students were more engaged when 
uh, these kind of memes were were used to convey a particular language okay so this is sort of a little bit of a background and then now we'll get into it uh, so we'll start with you know i mean i'm assuming most of you have seen the movie now uh, you know every you get a month to watch it and then we discuss it at the end of the month that's the premise of it so by the end of this year we would have watched we'll watch about 12 movies okay 12 popular movies which have made uh, you know uh, meaningful difference in the in the in the language basically okay so i'll start with um, uh, a one meme where there's no sort of text written to it and as we progress you will see uh, the complexity will increase okay so let's get started with that this is the first one and um, you know this is basically you know uh, here they're just some simply conveying the same thing you know these are the two popular characters okay but they have what they have done is they have replaced the faces of the character with the uh, the hollywood Shruti, 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 Shruti is getting better she's almost 90% there give me one minute sir tomorrow tomorrow she will be okay give me one minute if you can I'm all okay. mute yourself if you can all yeah, mute yourself okay, it's fine Okay. If some of the host is mute, one minute. Okay. Oh, this group. Okay. Awesome. Sorry about that. Let me share my screen again. Okay. So we'll start. You know, basically, this was just to kind of get you started. This is the very first one. Okay. You probably have seen it when you watched the movie. Um, there is a use of imperative in this one okay i'm going to ask some of you just like the way when i cover the grammatical topics i i you know i put you on the spot okay um donna ji what is happening in this one uh the batao is telling yeah. them to to tell him tell him <laughs> yeah yeah very good very good right so awesome so what the, okay so you probably watched the movie donna ji right Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the verb? What is the verb here? You probably will not be able to see, so I'll try to write big. What is the verb here? Batana. Batana. Batana is. Uh, to tell. Batana is to tell, and then here the the one of the character of the movie he is using an imperative, which is basically he's commanding his his uh, you know crew member to tell me, right? Um, now. People use it in the popular culture, like if they want somebody to tell them, right? If they're in a in a in a in a position of a you know little bit of superiority, or even like you know as a funnier manner, they can sort of share that. So, any questions on this one? Anyone? It should be simple. It's use of an imperative. Okay, uh, you can also tell that you know it's not like bataye or batayega, or you know it's not even bata also because bata can be. Even in this case, he's trying to be slightly more sort of like, you know, uh, generous, like Batao, tell me. Yeah, any questions, anyone? All right, I'll keep going. Okay, so this is what I'm going to cover it. And after that, once we're done with this, the, the meme aspect of it, then we'll get into the watching the clip and making sense of it. Okay, the so next one is this one. Try to read it. And... Um, we have covered it, this grammatical topic also in, in our class, okay? Uh, it's also one of the popular sort of villain in this movie. Um, let's see, who would like to, Delia ji, you watch the movie? Uh, the summary. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's see, Rishila ji, you watch the movie? Uh, I got up to the start of the holy. Okay, okay, very good. So you probably have seen it. Right, it's uh, the, the 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 villain is saying. What is he saying? Ah, uh, when is holy? Yes, very good. Holy cub hai. Okay, and uh, this is like you know there are many memes around it. Like holy cub hai. Okay, cub hai holy. Then he repeats that again. Like holy cub hai, cub hai holy. Now it's it's also important because we've learned interrogative. Like cub is nothing but when. Okay, when is something. Okay, um, and you know, even though same thing you can say office kab hai, soccer game kab hai, labor day kab hai, 
okay when you want to know when is something you can use those phrases but you know he is he wants to emphasize it again that's why he changed the order okay he changed the order and he's repeating it again holy kab hai kab hai holy okay um and again like this is just to kind of tell you give you the flavor of it like it's the same sentence but you know often time you ask me like you know can we change the word order right so so there are definitely many references can be can be made here yeah any questions on this one so far it's simple i hope it's simple it will not surprise you know most of you because it's a simple grammar like the first one was the use of imperative the second one is basically use of interrogative yeah right keep going sorry, ashuji sorry can i just ask you a question yes please yeah i just want to know what so what does it mean when it says active and passive what's the different tone of those two words i think, I, I, I think they just made a thing basically a meme is basically the only villain who knew the grammar very well because you know i think they they put in this thing extra after that but this this villain basically the character of the movie because he said it holy kab hai kab hai holy i would mm -hmm. not go too much into this okay. active and aspect of it but they just okay. made a, a a funny theme you know behind this oh. this this picture okay thank you yeah. anyone else any questions or any thoughts you want to share right we'll keep going the next one i'll let you guys read it you probably if you watched the movie you probably have seen this uh, you know um the character using this phrase who remembers it who would like to share their thoughts maybe like instead of me putting anyone on spot Ashish ji yes go ahead is it uh, that uh, gabbar gabbar singh that yes, he's right. he's one of his man he was asking that yes uh, or gabbar singh asking his one of his man like a chamchagiri asking ab tera kya hoga kalya that's right so kalya is the kalya kalya that's right kalya yes ab is okay dissect it uh, radhika ji for everyone what is ab ab is a, uh, now just now now yeah like a abi kind of abi is very now ab is just now what are the things going on in now now uh huh and then mm. keep going tera is like a more like a um tera Tera okay. is like yours. Uh, okay. Kya is what? What's happening? Hoga is what will happen? Okay. Um. Ab, ab what will happen to you? What will happen to you, Kalia? That is true. What will happen to you now, Kalia? So, um, it's Tera. Uh, I think that is the thing. The three men he is going to punish because they come with the Kali hand, empty handed. That's right. So he is going to punish them. So he's just kind of it's a threatening voice, kind of. That, that is, is right. That is right. Now what will happen to you? And Tera is nothing but just like we have like you know um you know uh to you basically in this case like now what will happen to you? Okay. Um. Okay. Um. So in this case you can see that hoga hona is being used, which is the verb you know in future tense hoga. okay you can similarly draw very simple sentences like kal kya hoga what will happen tomorrow okay wahan kya hoga i wrote some simple sentences just to kind of you know break it down further for you kal kya hoga is what will happen tomorrow wahan kya hoga what will happen there ab kya hoga now what will happen jaane kya hoga okay god knows what will happen okay Uh, or i don't know what will happen okay um so here the thing is like kya hoga it's a very popularly used phrase kya hoga okay you can play around this kya hoga with 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 many sort of variations okay it will just help you remember if anything 
if you know so that way you know you don't it was basically the theme is meme is used by like the native speakers and once you start to kind of exchange that conversation just like and that's true for most of the languages now okay because these are written in in almost all languages so if you can interact with the native speakers in the way they communicate you learn that more it will help you remember all these phrases right and so next time if you hear someone using up tera kya hoga they may change the name from kalia to to let's say peter up tera kya hoga peter right you can really understand the it little bit better like what is the reference behind it make sense peter ji right so if somebody is asking you or telling you up tera kya hoga peter ha are ba right so we'll go next one okay so this one is again peter ji because i put you on the spot will you know read it out and then tell me what is happening here um hmm kitni aadmi the hmm uh let's see aadmi is uh men uh hmm. what ha- so kit kit uh, i can't remember what kitana is kitna is it's make a guess basically kitne aadmi the okay um well i i think he's just saying like what happened here that is true like he's also asking is a question mark so it's a question kitne aadmi the hmm. yeah i don't know kitne sorry okay kitna is how many yeah that's right so how many I didn't- I didn't hear that. Oh, okay. Sorry. How many? How how, how many? Oh, how, how many? many? Oh, yes, I remember now. How many men was it? Okay, and it was right. only two. That's <laughs> right. There were only two, and then he's like, "And you? How many were you?" Exactly. Oh, right? okay. So it's a very popular, uh, you know, meme there. Like, "Kitne aadmi the?" Like, they look at it. There were only two people, and you had a huge force with you. Okay. Now they change it. you know and they made another meme out of it so i don't know if you can read devnagari peter ji but if yes you know what they are asking here is kitne aadmi the yeah and then and the, the response is sarkar koi bhi nahi tha okay sarkar koi bhi nahi tha okay um koi bhi is um uh let's see anywhere no, no. one no no one right Yes. Kahi bhi is nowhere. Koi bhi is no one. Okay. Koi, okay, koi bhi nahi tha, which means no one was there. That's right. So here, okay, and then I'm going to read it because it's sort of you know it's animated. Yeh koi chutti nahi hai. This is not a holiday. Khelne ke liye dosto se na mile, which means do not meet your friends to play. घर पर रहे और सुरक्षित रहे स्टे होम एंड स्टे हेल्थी कैन यू मेक अ सेंस ऑफ इट व्हाई दिस वाज मेड नाउ देयर इज अ मास्क आल्सो हियर सो यू कैन यू कैन सॉर्ट ऑफ पुट दीस थिंग्स टुगेदर एंड कैन मेक अ मेक सेंस ऑफ इट सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक इट इज अम so the guy saying kitne aadmi the yeah and then, there was no one and then this is not a holiday do not khelne ke liye dosto se na mile do not meet people yeah do not do not meet anyone to play games stay home stay healthy right i mean it looks like it happened during covid it's probably some covid meme of some kind that's right it's a covid meme it was made during covid that you know uh, which is basically you can see the reference kitne aadmi the like in that at least in that movie there were two people but now there's not even a one person and then they're trying to make a point do not go outside okay uh, because it's not a uh, it's a public health you know situation here okay but anyway the key point to remember is kitne aadmi the okay and you can make many sentences from kitne okay who would like to try out some some sentences with kitna or kitni um or you know uh, can i ask a question sarkar means government okay government. 
government okay so i'm going to write it down you will because my screen is small but i'm going to write it still long big big sen big uh, sarkar is government government and now this is the movies which is made in 70s so even in the in the movie also the word sarkar is being used for this uh, villain you can tell that he is made his own government basically right and that's why he is being referred as sarkar which is government okay and uh, you know in this case sarkar is probably referred to the 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 actual government that government there was no one okay but in this case think of it as like someone at a place of authority for which there this is being used so his people are using this term for him sarkar yeah any questions anyone so far this is slightly harder because there's a lot of text written in in devnagari so you know i think this part should be easy kitne aadmi the right how many how many people were there or how many men were there yeah i'm going to keep moving and then you know that way at least you can get a sense of it okay so this is a little bit it gets like you know that he's using some some slangs here or you know words here whoever has watched it they'll probably try to make sense of it meeta ji you want to try it out uh suvarke bachcho um so is that the the child of a pig yes or swine right so right. he's using a bad word basically he's really mad that his his people came empty handed without killing the the heroes of the of the movie right and um now it's it's a post position k okay uh one you know kid is bachcha okay um multiple kids is bachche okay and because it's a you know it's being used as masculine plural that's why it's k suwar ke bachcho mm -hmm. okay uh now it's bachche but like it is addressed as a slang to group of people that's why it's like when i say dosto that means like listen friends like it's you know um and that's why it is being used in an in oblique case bachcho okay so work ke bachcho yeah yeah so uh you will not you don't use it you know to everyone <laughs> but like in the context of the movie it is being addressed as like he's really mad he's really yeah. mad at his people yeah so so is he saying sons of pigs rather than son of a pig yes yes Or basically yes. Okay. yeah children yeah, yeah. <laughs> any questions anyone on this one right who is finding it hard be honest with me who is finding it hard you can use your hands you can you know use your um, the zoom feature to raise hand if it is very hard or if it is easy you following along you can use the zoom chat also okay vocative case that's right vocative case thanks so much sarah ji so this is a vocative case which is like you you know it's being used to to address people right right next one okay so this one is little bit longer it's also very popular you know one um yes jackie do you have a question before i jump into the next one jackie ji okay oh i think you're using your raising your hand for this one it's all right this one try to read it and i'm going to ask some of you to to um uh, to break it down further okay um if you watch the movie you probably will understand it you know mastram ji how are you doing aa theek hai theek hai aapne to movie dekhi hai aa kafi baar dekh liya bhai sahab kafi baar dekhi hai aur kafi baar dekh liya isme kya ho raha hai prasanti in kutto ke samne mat nacho very good mat nachna mat nach mat nachna yeah what is happening in this film so uh this is when he's tied up and basanti is forced to dance in front of him yeah basanti is the name of the the actress of of a, of a lady of the actress yeah yeah okay and so, then but, so but basanti mm -hmm. in kuto 
Hesamne, don't dance like a dog. No, no. So in kutto ke samne mat naachna. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, so don't dance like a dog. Don't don't dance in front of this front. dog. That's right. That's right. Don't dance in front of these dogs. Okay. This I'll dog. try to break it down further. Okay. Uh, so, kutta is a dog. Okay. Kutte, as you know, is a plural. It's dogs. Okay. So if and k samne, as you know, it's it's a post position, a compound post position that we used. In front of is k samne, k piche is behind. Okay. I think most of you should should remember that k samne. So this is a very good meme to even understand, like you know, the oblique case. So when you have kutta and k samne, it becomes kutte k samne in front of a dog. Okay. Kutte ke samne. When you have kutte, which is plural, and k samne after that, it becomes yes, Masramji, it becomes kuto ke samne, kuton ke samne, wouldn't it be? Samne. So, yeah, that's right. Kutto ke samne, I just write, there's no nasalize, I put it, but it's as a nasalize. Kutto ke samne. Okay. Now, you also need notice that it is an imperative. Okay. An imperative because he's giving. A, a, almost like a command okay and it is said in a negative sense where he's saying do not do this thing okay and i think it came this question came last last week also how do you say a negative sentences which is an imperative you don't use nahi you use mat very good you use mat okay for example ice cream mat khau. ice cream mat khau video game mat khelo um vaha mat jao okay tv mat dekho right um uh, jada mat khelo jada mat bolo okay jada mat pio right all of that it's the use of mat is there okay so that's why it's kutto ke samne mat nachna if let's say imagine if it was just kutto ke samne mat nachna do not nachna is to dance okay so do not dance in front of the pigs in meaning why is it in used here anyone else let's see um um saraji you want to unmute yourself tell us about in yes i i'm here and i can explain okay um so we know that there's yaha and then there's the plural which is yay right and yeah. so in the oblique case yay changes to in so we could have had yay kuta but we have multiple dogs so then it's yay kute and then because mm -hmm. it's in the oblique it changed to in kuto uh case amne very uh, good so i hope that helps <laughs> that's right so it's an oblique of you know for example yeha is this ye is these okay you know and then is is an oblique case of yeah in is an oblique case of uh yeah these right so basically that's what it is yeah case amne it becomes in case amne so they split in and then in case amne in front of these yeah and now they made another one if the shole was made in 2023 you know a guy is saying the same thing in kutto ke samne mat nachna and you know uh, the actress is responding it's you know you don't have any right to to tell me what i do okay i make my own decisions so i mean again like if you if you know the the reference of the movie you will immediately understand what they're trying to convey here okay a any questions anyone so far on this yeah All right we'll do the next one okay now we'll change the character. It's a, you know, it's a good use of adverb and adjective on this one. Okay. Try to read it out yourself a few times, and then I'm going to ask some of you to, to. Mahaji, how are you doing? Namaste ji. Itiku or Bohot funny scene. 
क्योंकि वो दरोगा साहब बहुत अजीब लग रहा वहां पे ओके दैट्स वो राइट नया हाँ नया वाला है और दैट वाज इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द मूवी दैट्स राइट एंड व्हाट आर द सेम हाँ बड़ा अजीब आदमी है इज लाइक इट्स वियर्ड अजीब अजीब इन इट्स केम फ्रॉम अरबिक अजीब सो इट्स लाइक इज वेरी स्ट्रेंज पर्सन समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट्स राइट व्हाट अ स्ट्रेंज पर्सन लाइक इज अ वेरी स्ट्रेंज पर्सन बड़ा इज ओके बड़ा इज इन एडवर्ब व्हिच इज क्वाइट ओके एडजेक्टिव इज अजीब स्ट्रेंज ओके it's quite a strange person and they are referencing it to uh, the the jailer or the the policeman who recently joined this these two uh, gentlemen are the the main character of the movie like j and viru okay and they are in a jail and now there's a new policeman came and they are referring it to for him like bada ajeeb aadmi hai okay um if some mahari same you if someone is very hard working How, what word will you replace in this in this uh, phrase? A bara mehnat wala admi hai. That's right. Mehnat or mehnati, right? Mehnati. Ha, mehnati. Mehnati is hardworking. Mehnati. Okay. If somebody is very lazy, how will you say that? Oh, bara kamchor admi hai. Very good. Bara kamzor, or you can say alsi. कम छोर कम कम छोर कमजोर तो नहीं कम छोर सो यू कैन राइट इट इन चैट ऑल्सो सो एवरी वन कैन इफ नो बडी कैन रीड माई हैंड राइटिंग बिकॉज माई स्क्रीन इज स्मॉल काम इज वर्क चोर इज लाइक थीफ काम चोर इज समन लाइक द वर्क ओके काम चोर और यू कैन से आलसी बोथ ऑफ देम आर यूज एज अजी ओके सो Uh, you know, but a um, kamchor admi hai. What else can you use here instead of like ajib? You used you know mehnati. You use uh, kamchor. Ah, uh, but a sundar admi hai na. Yeah, very good. <laughs> but, but a handsome man. But a sundar <laughs> admi. Right. So hopefully it will help you remember it next time you kind of like it comes to you. Um, you can really rephrase the phrase and then play around with it. Okay, okay, and that's also one of the tool that you have to to kind of practice it. Yeah, Shannon ji, you finding it okay? Too difficult, too easy, or moderate? Sorry, was that me? Yeah. Uh, now that we're going through it, I'm following. I had a yeah. hard time keeping up with the dialogue when the movie was playing because I yeah. couldn't slow it down on on my format. That's right. So the point is not to follow, and I'll say it again. The point is not to follow word by word, right? That will take some time. The point is like the big picture is clear. Okay, we'll start with the popular dialogues first. We'll try to dissect the popular dialogue first. Okay, then gradually you'll get used to at least seeing them in your day-to-day -day life. You'll gradually start playing with these phrases, replacing them. Okay, and then. you know and then what you're aiming for which is like be able to see it without subtitles that will follow as well okay so this is a very popular one by the way next one is yeah this one is also um okay i'm going to let you guys read this one is slightly harder it's a, a little bit emotional also in that movie um so uh but even though it was emotional in the movie people are people they made a <laughs> meme out of it uh Okay. Um, who has? Let's see. Who has raised your hand? Who has watched the movie? Who would like to dissect it? Can I give it a go? Yes. Go for it. Uh, why is there so much silence here, brother? That's right. Why? Why is there a silence? Okay. What is the word for silence? Uh, sonata. Sonata, okay. So it's a sir, and then half n, full n with a, and then t with a. Sonata, okay. Um, you know, typically we use the word shanti. Shanti is like silence. बहुत शांति है, right? बहुत शांति है. There's a lot of peace, right? That's what we say. बहुत शांति है, okay. Uh, in this, uh, in this meme or in this particular dialogue, uh, this gentleman. is saying 
इतना सन्नाटा क्यों है क्यों एज यू नो इज एन इंट्रोगेटिव वाई ओके क्यों है सन्नाटा क्यों है वाई इज देर ए साइलेंस ओके इतना एज यू नो इट्स एन एडवर्ब विच मीन दिस मच और सो मच ओके इतना सन्नाटा क्यों है भाई ओके सो पीपल यूज इट लाइक यू नो लेट से देर इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल मीटिंग एंड वन वन ऑफ योर फ्रेंड ही comes in the room and everyone is is sitting quietly it's a natural phrase for him to to say that like itna sanata kyu hai bhai to to break the silence of the room okay now if you have not seen it seen the movie or if you don't know the reference you would not sort of laugh at the 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 reference of it but hopefully it tells you that you know when people are saying it itna sanata kyu hai bhai they are referring to the that this particular scene of the movie Arjun, could I ask a question? Yes, please. This this question is when you say "by" on the end there, is this directed at the general population or to That's a specific correct. person? It is to general population. Okay. Yeah. So this wouldn't be translated as like, "Why are you being silent?" No, no, not at all. Uh, it is. It is just like, "Oh, uh, why is there so much silence, brothers?" or like dear so in in this case bhai doesn't mean like brother or not to a reference to a person he's just using it as a way to to politely ask people like why is everyone so quiet thank you bhai yeah good question though right anyone else it has any question on this one i have Delhi? a question yes, please. yes please Isn't sanata always used when there is grief involved? Ah, uh, you. I mean, it, you. It is like in this case, it's there is a grief. Okay, pin drop silence, basically. Like that's what it is. Pin drop silence. Uh, as you watch the movie, like the the villain, you know, kills his son. That's why you know it is that the scene is pretty sort of uh, sad in in this particular case. But that's right. Like you know, sanata. But sanata, it's. uh you know there are cases where it is used in in the you know non melancholy situations as well so it's not necessarily always like when it is a sad scene yeah sanata but shanti you probably heard more shanti with the ji shanti is being used more like right? shanti hai shiv ji yeah um is some um, mourn silence as well say one more time mourn mourn that's right mourn Mon is also. I'm going to write it down. So it's m with o. Mon. Mon is um, you know it is it means like you know silence. Okay. Um, it 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 does mean silence, but they will not say इतना mon क्यों है. Okay. Uh, you will you hear it more and more in terms of like you know if somebody is fasting and they have a. For example, mon vrat, where they are not talking to vrat is like a fast. Okay, I'm going to write it down. It's yeah. Right. right? We are. What meeting. about? Yeah. What about khamosi? Khamosi. Khamosi. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, Amritesh. Khamosi is also a popular one. Khamosi. I'll write it down. You can write in the Zoom chat as well. Khamosi is silence, silent, and khamosi is basically in this one. खामोशी इतनी खाम यू कैन से दैट इतनी खामोशी क्यों है भाई वाई देर सो मच साइलेंस हियर खामोशी या गुड वन अमृतेश खामोशी ओके एनी क्वेश्चन एनी मोर सॉर्ट ऑफ एडिशन हियर गुड या दिस कैन बी हार्ड बिकॉज लाइक यू नो यू ऑल वॉच द मूवी इन अ डिफरेंट वे right you all relate with it now differently right so it's like to bring everyone together it's you know it's slightly slightly like you know uh, but they'll come together so so asu yeah. ji yes is the the moan is that the uh, the practice with the aesthetics like carry around a little chalkboard and don't talk you don't talk at all in when you do the vrat which is fast like typically when we talk about fasting you know you don't eat right that's a fast right where you don't eat like mai bra mera vrat hai i am fasting or i'm not doing a fast but when you say mera maun vrat hai that means 
I'm not talking at all. Like I'm, I've taken this uh, one breath basically. Like where I'm uh, not. Uh, Ashudri, it's like a um uh, uh you're taking a um it's like silence. You're taking a, a not a pledge, but you you yeah 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 yeah. Mm. That is correct. It's a pledge to, for example, you can take a mon breath of a day because you're like you know I want to, you know, bring myself to more peace, uh you know, or in equilibrium. So I'm not talking anything today, right? It can be used as a as a what do you call it sarcasm as well. Like if let's say we are a, five of us are meeting, okay, uh, only four are talking, one is not talking, right? And you're like you know why are you not talking? Kya mon breath hai? Kya aapka mon breath hai? Like are you on a, on a fast or something that you're not you know you know for example same thing if for four of us five of us are in a restaurant four are eating one is not eating. One is like a genuinely they have fast. Other one is like a sarcasm, like you know, like yeah, tumara breath hai. Like do you have a fast or something, right? Similarly, like mon breath, like you know, do you have a are you taking fast from talking or something like that? Yeah. Awesome. Ash Ashutosh, um, yeah. the word chippy. Which one? Chippy. Write it down in the Zoom chat. Chippy. No. Chuppi, chuppi. Oh, that's right. Chuppi. Yeah, that's right. Chuppi. Chuppi is also silence, right? Chuppi is like, you know, um, like someone has taken, like, you know, that uh, chuppi lena, right? I mean, so it's like what the word is ch with u, half per chuppi. So you can say that bahut chuppi hai here, basically. Itni chuppi kyo hai bhai. Hmm. Why there is much silence? Or chup hona, that's right. It's a verb. Um, well, that's a good one. Yeah, you can use that. Yeah, we had that in Story Weaver. We we use uh, chup chup non chup kana. Chup hona or chup karna. Chup yeah. hona is like you know, my my chup hoon, right? I, I'm I'm and chup karna is like teacher bacho ko chup kar rahi hai. She is you know, you know, making them silent or tell, asking everyone to get silent. Yeah. Sorry, Ashley, is that the same as, as I've heard um, mothers say to children, chup? That yeah, right? that's right. Right, chup, chup, that's chup. right. That's right. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I use it sometimes, my, <laughs> you know, when kids don't stop, you know, they, they chatter a lot, right? And then they keep doing it. So sometimes, like, my wife and I will do chup kar, like, you know, just, just shut up, basically, chup kar. <laughs> Chupkar or chup ho ja, right? So, but chupkar is like, you know, it's, it's, I, I know, I mean, it's just in a way made up. Chupkar, stop it. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Ashu, Ashu ji, uh, yes? what about the uh, khamosh? Is it rude to tell khamosh instead of chupkar? It's how it is being said, right? If it is said, there's again another meme for it. It's a very popular uh, uh, old. I meme. think Mr. India. It is Mugimbu Khushhua. That one Khamosh. I think this... is in Mr. India. Aji. No, no. Yeah, I is... think uh, uh, Asuji uh, Satrudan. Do you know Satrudan Sinha? As a, okay. uh, old oh, actor yes. from Bihar. Uh, so, yeah, his what should I say? Pet dialogue. Yeah, in several movies, he used this dialogue. Khamos. Khamos. So Khamos is again. It is how it is said. If it is said in a humorous way, like the way uh, Amritesh is describing, then it's not a rude. But uh, if it is your tone is a little bit strict, then it can be inferred as like you know a little bit rude. Yeah. Awesome. So this one got a lot of comments. This particular meme. Rest of it, I think you're getting just still a warm up of it. Like what is going on? <laughs> All right. Well, next one. Uh, this one is the jailer. Okay. Um, this movie, as you know, it's in seventies. Uh, India got independence in nineteen forty seven. So about twenty, about twenty five years after the independence, right? So there is references made to the British basically, where this guy, this guy says, and I'll probably play it also uh, in the later half of the movie. Hum Angrezo ke zamane ke zailer hai. Like we, I'm the zailer from the, from British era, right? 
and you can see the makeup is being done in a little bit of a funny way like he has small mustache like you know charlie chaplin they are trying to put portray that you know he has like that you know a british sort of persona even though he is indian basically okay uh, now some one of you will have to describe this meme okay and and tell me professor neeta you want to read it okay hamare jail mein surang yeah and then they don't say hai but हमारे जेल में सुरंग है ओके ओके व्हाट आर दे सेइंग व्हाट इज ही सेइंग सो um there is a tunnel in our jail and the two uh, badmash they um, basically faked um to this uh, spy that you know they were building a tunnel and so he's reporting everything to the director of the jail that's right so this guy is like a spy is also a thief but he's used as a spy so he's telling the jailer that hamare jail mein surang hai again you know it's you can tell tell hamara is r okay uh, you know hum is v and then hamara is r like hum plus ka hamara right hamara ghar is our house hamara hamara bachcha our kid um हमारा हमारा स्कूल और हमारी स्कूल लाइक आर स्कूल हमारा व्हाट एल्स कैन यू से हमारा प्लेग्राउंड आर प्लेग्राउंड ओके बट हमारी इज बिकॉज जेल इज कंसिडर्ड फेमिनिन दैट्स व्हाई इट्स हमारी जेल आर जेल ओके हमारी बच्ची आर डॉटर ओके हमारी स्कूल आर स्कूल राइट सो आई थिंक all these things will get better like you know you can immediately tell hamari jail mein surang hai okay typically when we learn hindi 10 things comes to our mind like why when i'm saying it like should i say hamara jail or hamari jail right but when you're using it in a meme or if when you see it it naturally fits in your brain maybe jail is a feminine that's why it's being used as hamari jail yeah but ashuji these these memes can be so um confusing a little bit because i assumed jail was masculine and because of the post position me i thought it was hamara to hamare but you say the e has to be read as a i hamari so hamari okay hamare you know, okay so the the roman script is often a little bit that, that, is, that is correct right i mean that is i agree with that like the way how it is written because if they are writing it in roman nagari they they are writing in free form mm and they're writing in free form and they're not really concerned about the grammar rules right so i i agree with you there like it can be confusing right yeah any other questions or comments on this one surang i i mean it is being used but like in this uh if you're reading the newspaper or hearing the you know news you will hear this you know um yeah Hi. Right, next one. Lot of it. It can be complex. Somebody has to dissect it. It's a, actually it's a four different images that are put together. Okay. I, I, if they're small, I'm going to read it for you. Okay. But uh, who'd like to give it a try? Someone who's watched the movie. It'll make more sense than for them to do it. Someone who's not tried before. JDG you want to do it uh i can't really read it it's too small okay. it's too small okay um okay i i think i have written it down uh, you know here this one try this one can you read the first one um on gleason k jamme jamane k jailer hey okay what does it mean uh, I'm not sure it says we uh English uh something is, is that the birth is, is that like Jama Jamadeen so that so that's a hard one it's is a hard one you know it's so Zamana my guess my guess would be that it would be something like our jailer was born in England or English is born English era 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 
अंग्रेजों का जमाना इज एरा ऑफ ब्रिटिश ब्रिटिश या सो अंग्रेज यू नो इज इज यूज फॉर ब्रिटिश ओके अंग्रेजों इज ऑब्लिक केस ऑफ द प्लूरल ओके अंग्रेजों का जमाना इज एरा ऑफ ब्रिटिश ओके बिकॉज देर इज के हियर एज वेल अंग्रेजों के जमाने के जेलर है ओके इवन दो ही सेंग हम ही इज सेंग इट फॉर हिमसेल्फ हम राइट विच इज प्रॉब्लम यू सी हिंदी स्पीकर ऑफर टाइम लाइक यू नो समाइम बेसिकलींग हम sort of an imperial i yes right so i am the you know jailer from the era of the british hum angrezon ke zamane ke jailer hai yeah han ji okay next one you want to read it again i'm going to uh, i'm going to make it bigger at the expense of making it a little bit bad the weird uh, <laughs> read okay. it. हम अंग्रेजों के जमाने के जेलर हैं। Next one, हम। Oh, I see that. Uh, हम ना ही बाल्दे बाल्ले हा हा। हा हा। I have not changed. Yeah. Oh, we have not changed. हा हा। And then he has this typical laugh. That's what he has has, right? Um. um next one keep going we have not changed basically we are still the same okay so uh hamare hamare jasus charon taraf uh fe feile hue hain okay one more time uh hamare jasus charon tara tara हमारे जासूस चारों तरफ लेट्स रीड दिस वर्ड चारों तरफ वट इज चार I have no idea. Okay, look at me. What is char? Four. Oh, four. Charo taraf. 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 Us taraf. Four sides. Four very, sides. Very good. Very good. Four sides. Okay. Oh, that's everywhere. The four that's sides, right. like the four corners of the earth, or something. Uh, east, west, north, south, basically four yes, sides. Yes. Yes. Okay. So what is? चारों तरफ ओके सो आर डिटेक्टिव्स एवरीवेयर एवरीवेयर चारों तरफ या लाइक चारों तरफ यू नो अंधेरा है दैट मींस दिस इज अ डार्कनेस ऑल ओवर फोर साइड चारों तरफ उजाला है देयर इज अ अ ब्राइटनेस इन ऑल फोर साइड्स ओके नाउ फैले हुए फैला होना इट्स अ इज यूज्ड एज अ वर्ब बट इन दिस केस फैले हुए हैं ओके फैलना इज टू स्प्रेड फैले हुए इज बेसिकली स्प्रेड आउट राइट ओके सो आर डिटेक्टिव आर स्प्रेड आउट एवरीवेयर इन ऑल डायरेक्शंस दैट्स राइट लाइक आर डिटेक्टिव्स आर एवरीवेयर या दैट्स व्हाट इट मींस दिस वन इज अ हार्ड बट गुड जॉब गुड जॉब लाइक बेसिकली ब्रेकिंग इट डाउन ओके आई एम गोना मेक इट स्मॉल दिस वन हियर सो आई एम गोना अदरवाइज यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू रीड इट this is also the last dialogue is very very popular like you know give me one minute i'm going to move it here and so you can read it get it you again hopefully you can read it <laughs> okay uh adhe idar jao adhe utar jao uh baki hamare sath aao okay so they they come here they they go here they go there okay what is aadha i'm not really sure 
आधा वन इज एक आधा इज उधर इज देयर सो जाना इज वर्ब इट इज यूज एज अ कमांड इम्पेटिव नाउ टेल मी वॉट इज है So he's saying the detectives, half the detectives go here, half the detectives go there, and the rest, uh, the rest uh, are with us. Come with us. Come with me, okay? So it's not detective for policeman. He's saying it because detective there's only one detective, but there's only one spy. But it's a funny scene basically because he's trying to say, like let's say he has ten people. He's like half of you go this side, half of you come this side. Rest of you come with me. There's no one left after that. <laughs> right so it's it's again uh, like a funny reference right but so aadha is half okay aadha yes is half but he's saying aadhe idhar jao aadhe udhar jao baki hamare sath he not saying hum mere sath hamare sath he's referring to himself as hum baki hamare sath aao again imperative aana okay any any questions on this one baki is rest Okay, Baki. It's like he's using the royal we. That's right, yeah. royal we. It is royal we actually. Uh, so, and that you can tell that they when they made the movie, even the guy his dialogues are uh, written in in a in slightly broken Hindi, basically, which is basically with some accent of English, to portray that that's how the the British people you know will speak Hindi. uh that's how it is being portrayed in the movie yeah any questions on this one aadhe idhar jao aadhe udhar jao baki hamare saath aao okay i'll change the next one and um, so i think if we are almost coming closer to this one and then we'll uh, hope oh, look at the time <laughs> um okay so this one uh, some let's like, say sunita ji i'll put you on spot you watch the movie right Yes or no? If you need more time, that's totally okay. Actually, I'm on my smartphone and I cannot look at your screen at the same time because I just don't know how it works. Sorry. It's okay. Go back. Go back. Go back. Happy. Okay. Um, who would like to try this one? Peter G. Why don't you try this one? तुम्हारा नाम क्या है बसंती ही सेइंग योर बसंती योर नेम इज बसंती एंड शी इज ऑलरेडी सेड इट लाइक 10 टाइम्स दैट्स राइट सो इट्स इट्स अ फनी सीन राइट इट्स बेसिकली इफ ही वाज जेन्युइनली आस्किंग द नेम ही वुड से तुम्हारा नाम क्या है राइट व्हाट इज योर नेम बट लाइक शी हैज सेड मल्टीपल टाइम्स इन दिस सीन हर नेम लाइक यू नो बसंती ये करेगी बसंती वो करेगी शी गोइंग ऑन एंड ऑन एंड ऑन एंड एंड देन शी सेज लाइक You haven't asked me my name, and the guy sitting behind says, "Tumara naam kya hai, Basanti?" Right? Um, so it's again like a reference, like you know, if you hear someone saying, "Tumara naam kya hai, Vidya?" or "Tumara naam kya hai, Mike?" Mike has already said his name ten times, and then I'm just saying, like, "Tumara naam kya hai, Mike?" What is your name, Mike? Right? Um, any questions on this one? What is the vehicle? Peter, what is the vehicle in which they are sitting? Um, I mean, it's like a carriage in English, yeah. but I'm not sure if there's another word for it. Okay, what is the okay? Anyone? Tanga. 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 Okay, so it's a T with A and a dot on top. I mean, G and A. Tanga. Horse. Horse carriage, right? Right. Tanga. it was very popular before the automobile uh, became a, a a thing it was predominantly it was used basically right that's where the horse power came from right tanga okay next one um who like to do it let's pick up the pace himani ji you want to pick up this one yes actually i can give it a go yeah um who jaunga 
मर जाऊंगा What is he saying? Mm, um, the second one is uh, to die to like you is it you're going to die? Okay, he's I saying think... it without saying me. He's not using the pronoun me, but he's saying it. You okay. can say me kuch jaunga, me mar jaunga. But you know, in the dialogue, it is like kuch jaunga, mar jaunga. <laughs> Right, that's why he is very dramatic in this one. But yes, say it again. Who jaunga, mar jaunga. Yeah. So the could I'm not sure. Is it uh, to do something by by himself? Okay. Kudna is jump. Yeah. Kudna is jump. It is what? Kud, kud, when jump. you say kud, jump. Ah, thank you. Yeah, so Kudna is jump. Okay. Means? Okay, keep going. I think you're on the right track, Himanji. Hmm. To, um, I, I don't get the, the grammar, but like to to go jump and to, to go die. That's right, that's right. So don't worry about the grammar. It's a compound word. Kudna is used with jana. Because it's the change of the state that I will jump and I will die. Like, okay. you know, you know, because uh, the actress's uh, aunt, uh, she's not allowing, you know, him to get married to the actress. That's why he's trying to do this dramatic scene. Like, I will yes. jump and I'll die. Kuch jaunga, mar jaunga. Uh, you know, so that's what it is. Like, kuch jana and mar jana. Now, compound work on its own can be hard. But when you see these, like, references, it can be it can be easier to sort of like you know to make sense of it kuch jaunga mar jaunga yeah yes thank you right now i think this is probably the the last one okay or oh, no okay so i'm going to i'm, I'm going to explain this one okay and um, chakki is basically grinder where people i think they're still there in in many parts uh, of of india where you will take the the wheat or the rice and you give it to the person they will grind it for you in the industry style you know grinder nowadays you have it in the house also a uh, pisna is in the typical sense like you know there will be a, a an instrument which is like two rocks the circular rocks which is on top of each other and you will grind it basically right um so chakki pisna is nothing but like you know uh, it's basically you're uh, grinding the the wheat and making it in a powder okay um and typically it was uh, it used to be the the work of you know in the in the in the prison they they will keep the prisoners engaged and that was one of the tasks like to to grind the 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 floor or to grind the wheat per se okay this scene is funny this meme is funny because they are using uh, they just like the way sometimes i say use in english words when you're talking in hindi in this case, you know, the actor is not really like, he does not really know uh, English. So they are trying to speak uh, broken English. So he's saying, when I dead, police coming, is ref missing the is here. So that's not the point, but it's a funny scene. Police coming, Budia is referred as aunt for the aunt, Budia going jail. Okay. you Again, the point is not to write, say the proper English because it's a, that's a part of the scene. In jail, Budia chakki pissing and pissing and pissing and pissing. And this is, this part is important, pissing. The word here is pisna. Pisna is to grind and crush something and make it into powder. powder. They're using it in a, in a reverse way because they're using in a, um, you know, in the continuous form. So he just like, just like we, you know, we take the, um, you know, the, uh, you, you get the point, right? I mean, and he removed the na here in the infinity form and put ing here to say that, you know, this, she will, she will be doing it basically in the continuous form. That's why it's piecing and piecing and piecing. Okay. You might hear some references of it, you know, if you, you know, if you're surrounded by natives, basically, right? Any questions on this one? Ashiji, can I just ask you, um, is Budia an old person? Right, Budia yeah. is an old person. Thank you.
Okay. Thank Ash, you. Ash, it's us. When I saw your slide there, I read the, the pissing, as you said, the pissing as being a rude pun, pun between the English and the Hindi. That's right. <laughs> yeah, this is like peace now, basically. We just uh, not the like, you know, the urine. <laughs> no. Yeah. Asuji, right. is, is the is the Budia there? Is that gender neutral or is that an old woman? It's a woman. Okay. It's a woman. Okay. Yeah. Buddha is for a men. Buddha. Budia is for a woman because in this movie, the aunt, her mossy is shown as like an older elder elder lady, right? So Budia. Yeah. Okay. Next one. I think this should be popular. You should you should probably understand this one. Who would like to do this one? Someone who's not tried before? Rita ji, how are you doing? Mighty cool. You want to do this one? Uh, yeah, dosti hum nahi to denge. We will not break our friendship. That's right. We will not break this friendship. Okay. Torna is to break. This friendship. Yeah, this friendship. Ye, ye is for the friendship. Ye dosti, this friendship. Hum nahi todenge. Okay, we will not break this friendship. This is a very unique one, like, you know, um, and, you know, people typically use it if they are very strong, uh, good friends, like, you know, they, they, they use this reference. Okay, last one probably. This one is hard. This is like really in the, the towards the end of the movie. Olena ji, you want to try this one? Bahut yarna lagta hai. Only no bahut. Bahut is. Okay. Yarna? Um, a, a lot of something. What? There's a lot of something. Ah, yeah. yarn like dost. Okay. That's right. Um, yarna lagta hai. Uh -huh. Um, a lot of friendship. Yeah, yeah, very good. Right, so it, okay, very good. Awesome. Saraj, you want to finish up this one? Uh, it seems like a like a strong friendship. Uh, is how right. I understood it. Yeah. <laughs> Both of you corrected correctly said it seems like there's a lot of friendship. Okay, so this is like the scene where like the the actor is basically tied with his his hands are tied and um, you know the the villain is forcing the the actresses to to dance and the actor gets angry okay and that's when the villain says you know there it seems there is a chemistry there right so it's bahut yarana lagta hai yarana yaar is friend yarana is friendship okay lagna is used here that means it appears there is a strong friendship there okay um but again like this this is it's not a word to word translation but uh, you know um, not a word to word translation but like this guy is trying to convey there's a lot of friendship there okay i know i'm slightly over time so i'm gonna take a break here i'm gonna send it to you uh, the slides in to respect the time uh, you know um, i know this can be slightly hard uh, for 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 some of you uh, because like just by watching the movie it may not come so quickly okay uh, and which is a totally normal thing so i would not be so hard you know don't be hard on yourself okay if you if some of it was a little bit sort of you know difficult for you but the point is even if you watch it again like you know these um the popular means of, of this movie it should gradually make sense of you okay and when these references are being made in the movie not in the movie or in the day-to-day -day conversation it should sort of you know it should strike you as like something is is there about the movie okay um slightly over time so i'm gonna i'm gonna stop the broadcast and i'll take questions from uh from you so for folks who watch uh live on facebook thank you so much for joining um this this particular segment is only uh once a month okay and i'll assess the the interest of, of the people as well okay um so i'm gonna stop